Good afternoon, everyone. Pastor Shane here, and as you can see, I'm doing our daily devotion from uh, from my office. Uh, very happy to be in here today. Our devotion today comes from the book of Matthew, chapter 4. It, um, it comes from the temptation of Jesus, and if you know anything about that, this is where Jesus goes out into the wilderness and is uh, tempted by the devil three times. It's, it's a pretty interesting uh, set of passages. The key verse is here for the devotion today is verse 4, where it says, just after the devil um, says, if you are the son of God, tell these stones to become bread, Jesus, quoting Deuteronomy, says, it is written, man does not live by bread alone, rather he lives on every word that comes from the mouth of God. And um, let me pull back up the, uh uh-oh, there we go. And again, I get, I'm get i following the daily devotion from clergystuff.com. I'll share the link as I always do. So if you want to go over there and check it out, here's what the devotion says today. It says, Jesus, of course, doesn't say that one doesn't need regular old bread to live. You don't eat, you die. The persistence of widespread hunger across the globe when there are more than ample resources to feed everyone is a sin of the highest order. It's just a fact. And I agree with that. But no amount of human bread is sufficient for a flourishing life. Witness the multitudes of people who hoard money in fear of scarcity and at the expense of the aforementioned hungry. No amount of human bread can fill the deep spiritual hunger for connection with God. God's word satisfies not by giving us a false sense of contentment or by taking away pain. God's word satisfies by energizing us to do the hard work of loving the other. Work that requires sacrifice. Work that requires courage in the face of fear. Work that connects us to God in powerful, transformative ways. As the crowd says to Jesus in the Gospel of John, give us this bread always. And that's from John 6, 34. Um, Again, this this devotion curtails very nicely into Sunday's message um, coming up. So you don't want to miss that. But I think... I think... um, we get into a consumption mentality, and I think that's kind of what this is getting at here. Um, we're constantly asking um, for our needs to be met, our wants, our desires to be met, and that's not a bad thing. Don't get me wrong. It's not a bad thing, but we get into a scarcity mentality that then we ask for stuff, and then there's no flow. It's just we hoard, we hoard, we hoard, and I think that um, we get into that scarcity mentality, and, and we're just worried about where the next thing's going to come from. I, I, I like here this, this, I love this passage. You know, people, we don't live by bread alone. Um, we refer to Jesus as the, you know, the bread of life. Um, it, there's the, the idea that bread is slang for money. Um, it's, bread is foundational to human existence, but it's not the only thing, right? And that we get that from this passage here, that we don't live by bread alone, but from or on every word that comes from God. And I think that um, if we're listening to the voice of God, we're going to hear the voice of justice. We're going to hear the voice of liberation. We're going to hear the voice of freedom in helping those who don't have justice, liberation, or freedom. And so when we consume, when we consume uh, the word of God, the bread of life, even regular old bread just to survive, um, it's for a purpose. It's for a purpose. And that purpose isn't just so we exist. Uh, We exist for a purpose, and that is to do the will of God. And the will of God is freeing people from oppression, liberating them from the chains that bind them, and helping them to get to a place where they can help others. That's really the goal. It's not just to lift people out of their chains for nothing. It's we are all lifted out of our squalor, out of our oppression, so that we can glorify God by helping others, l- help others lift themselves. So it's a cycle. We consume, but we don't consume needlessly or for no purpose. We consume that we can help others achieve and that they can help others achieve and just break all the bondage and all the chains that bind us whether that be sin, whether that be um, being sinned upon by someone else, um, 
any of the addictions, any of the hoarding mentality, just anything that we grab um, that we don't want to let go of. So it's not about the bread we consume. It's about the bread we help <laughs> to bake for others so that they can help bake for others. You know, it's, it's providing them the life-giving sustenance of the bread of life. It's helping with that. So I hope some of that made sense. I hope your day is going well. I really liked this devotional. I love this series. Um, if you didn't see it on Facebook, it looks like we are going to be able to have our outdoor service this week. So I'm very excited at 10 a.m. in the grass across from Bracefield United Methodist Church. Um, wear a mask, bring a chair, keep your distance. All the stuff that we've kind of gotten used to over the past six months. Um, we're going to keep doing all that. And we hope to see you on Sunday. Um, if not, it, it will be online. And I'll see you again tomorrow with the other...